Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Excursion Conundrum by Demon Arisen. This was going to be a hammer map with custom visuals, music, dialogue, secrets, surprises, and awesomeness. But it isn't, because Hammer is the most buggy, unintuitive, confusing, overcomplicated program I have ever used. It's very powerful, but I just don't have the patience to watch many hours worth of work go down the drain because Hammer stops working, or to spend 5 minutes compiling a map only to see that the character has spawned in an infinite black void rather than inside the test. I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but I'm not going to use Hammer ever again probably. I don't have the time for what little aesthetic detail it gives. Besides, People like my puzzles because of their clever, challenging solutions, their intuitive designs, the fact that they are lit well and look good, and because they're simultaneously challenging and fun. According to comments I get, anyway. This puzzle isn't even that challenging, and I'm not happy with it, but I've wasted my time on it, so I'm publishing it anyway. Alright, demon. I'm sorry about that. But, let's get started and see what you ended up with. This is a big window. We have the funnel right there. It actually goes through a hole in the wall. Interesting. Now, I'm looking around here at this, and I'm seeing how large and intricate looking this all is. And, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering what you mean by this puzzle isn't even that challenging, because this, this looks like a big, huge, complicated puzzle to me. <laughs> oh boy, well, we have an open door policy. At least there's that much going for us. We have a button on the ceiling. What else? Oh, the game's lagging a little bit, but that's okay. We have... a drop to our death. I guess the first thing we need to do is get over here, right? Yeah. What does this do? Oh, okay. And there's a faceplate, probably to get us into the funnel, right? I'm starting to think most of this glass is just to prevent unintended solutions. Yeah. What does this button do? It doesn't have any signage. Okay, what did that even do? Oh! Does that! Why is there no signage? Okay. And then in here we have... a way up, I guess? Well, fancy that! <laughs> I learned something new today. So I, I knew that, um, when you place your output portal on the floor, that this can happen, but I didn't realize it could also happen with funnels pushing stuff against the wall. That's new to me. <laughs> Interesting. So up here we have a laser that needs to be blocked by a cube, I guess? Or a laser cube? What does this do? More signage stuff. Okay. That turns that off. And there's also a portal surface in here for some reason. Okay. So how about we... Oh, it also turns the funnel off. Interesting. How about we do this? Whee! Alright, so, now that we're over here... We want to go down here... And put the cube on the button, and see what this face plate does, right? That's a pretty simple request. Oh, it can also shoot us through here! Interesting. Where might we want to go as a result of that? Also, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to see that from this angle, but that's okay. I guess... there's always this, right? Yeah, I don't think we've used that- used that yet. Might we want some way to go from here... to in there? Possibly, but let's see what that does first. Cause I don't think we used that portal surface yet. Yep, that pretty much does exactly what I thought it did. I guess now the main idea... 
is to get back in that room because the funnel's disabled, so we have to use the faith plate in some form or fashion, right? And technically, while we're coming out of this portal, we could shoot down there, but I'm pretty sure that might not be intended. So we're not going to do that right now. How about instead... How about I do this? Okay, we don't have the faith plate right now, but that's at least a start, right? Although we could have done this any time we wanted, really. Can also hit that. Oh yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. So we have our portal here. And then we walk across the faith plate over here. Like that. Alright, so. What turns on the funnel? Is it this? Yeah, probably. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Now, at this point, I don't think it matters which cube is where. But. We want one of these cubes to be in there, right? At least that's how I understand it. Is there... Is there anything down... Is there anything down here? Besides... There's not. That fizzler never turns off. There's nothing else. Yeah, okay, so we have to have that there. If we're here, we need that to be able to get back to the Faith Plate. Although... Although... I have a question. What if we do this? And we're very careful about it. Okay, so there's that much. Carefully. Okay, so there's this. We've done that much. Right? Uh okay. I feel like I broke the puzzle. Cause I don't think we needed the faith plate at all. Hang on. <laughs> Let me restart this real quick. I wanna I wanna make sure that I understand this correctly. Cause cause I don't think the faith plate is necessary for anything. Let's see here. So first things first, we need to get out of this room. And then... We just need to call this cube, right? Actually, no. Uh, we need to go through here. Let's ignore the regular cube for now. Let's get up here. We'll call... the laser cube. There's that. And then we will put a portal in there. And a portal there. And then we'll do this maneuver. Well, that's what quick saves are for. I just need to adjust my portal in the air now, is what I need to do. So let's see here. Take this back.
Oh, come on, game. <laughs> what even just happened there? I couldn't pick up the cube because it thought I was standing on it. That's interesting. I learned something new today. You can be literally in the air, and the game can still think that you were standing on an object. Strange. So there's that. Yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you don't need the regular cube or the faith plate. And, uh... Hmm... See, the thing is, I'm not even sure how we would use those elements anyway. We don't need that. We don't need the faith plate, we don't need the regular cube, we don't need that button. So... Assuming that air strafing that I just did is not supposed to be possible, like if the funnel were further away... What would I do instead? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit tired right now, so I'll just- I'll just wait for Demon Arisen to ask me to replay this. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!